I'm here at Paulding County Media Day brought to you by My10207. I'm here with Paulding head coach Tyler Arend of the Panthers. Thank you for joining me. And this is a team preview for your team. Um, what's it like getting back on the field and back to work? Oh, it's always fun. It's always exciting uh, to get out there with the guys. Um, you know, you miss, you know, you still do the lifting and stuff in the off season. Um, but it's just not quite the same as going out and practicing football every day. Um, I love the game, and it, it's fun to be around the guys, so it's definitely exciting. You had a pretty solid senior class last year. What's it like coming back this year, replacing those guys, especially in camp early on? Yeah, I'm not going to take anything away from that senior class we had last year. They did a great job. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of schools in the area. Um, you know, teams aren't schedules that had good seniors that graduate. That's just a part of football. It's a part of sports. Um, so, you know, the, the next set of guys got to come in ready to go and next man up. And what has been your coaching philosophy, philosophy early on? Offensive, defenses, what's your specialty that really drew you to coaching? Uh, you know, I was an offensive lineman at heart, um, so I just, I love the teamwork. Um, I love the camaraderie um, with football. You know, I've never touched the football in a game. Um, you know, I'm just, I was just doing my best for my team. And, you know, I just, I think football teaches a lot of great values. Um, you know, like I said, teamwork, hard work. Um, it's one of those things that um, as the years go, football stays the same. Um, it still requires the same work ethic, um, same toughness, same commitment, teamwork, really life skills that'll, that'll um, enhance these guys after they graduate. Chemistry is such a huge part that you develop in camp. How do you do that with your guys? Uh, you know, they just, you got to make sure everybody's on the same page working together. Um, you know, we're a big family. Um, you know, with any family, there's going to be your ups and downs. Um, you know, we, the guys are like brothers. Um, sometimes they're getting along. Sometimes they're, they're bickering at each other. But as long as everybody's getting better, everybody loves each other. Um, and at the end of the day, we all wear that same Paulding logo on our chest. Um, and, you know, we have each other's backs. And obviously when the schedules get released, you're always kind of circling big games and big moments and challenges throughout the year. What are some of those matchups that you're looking forward to? Uh, you know, we try not to get too bought into that. You know, the coaches, we look at it on the side, you know, who's going to have a good team coming back and, you know, who could have a down year. Um, but we really focus on is, is taking it one day at a time, uh, getting the most out of each and every day because that's all you can control. Um, it's all you can get better with. Um, and if you keep stacking those days together, um, then by August 30th, when we take the field week one, we should be at our best. And lastly, what is the key for your players right now? You know, they're going through two a days, you know, they're trying to stay healthy. What has really been the key for them to put in this hard work that prepares them for the grind of the season? I think the key is not to get distracted by the next day, um, just to focus on the day that you're in. Um, you know, it, it's hard right now, you know, what they're going through. It's very physical, um, you know, mentally and physically. Um, it's grueling. It's, it's hard work. So, you know, they just have to take it day by day and try to find a way to get better. Um, you can't go through the motions. Um, you got to put your work in so that we can be our best once the season starts. Awesome, Coach. Thank you so much. Thanks. Tune in to WOSN for some more team previews. We'll see you next time.